Hi, I'm Bert Kinister. This is volume 13 in my pocket billiard instructional series. This is called Rock Around the Clock. Now, this tape here is designed to give you pretty immediate relief. If you ever asked yourself, how do these good players put this cue ball down exactly where they want it, time after time, going from rail to rail? A, you know, they go between balls, they seem to have an uncanny ability to put the cue ball where they want it to be. The thing is, there are recurrent shots in this pool game. When you're playing nine ball or eight ball, any full table game where the balls are broke hard, there are recurrent patterns. We've talked about some of them in the star system, and you've seen some of them in the workout. But what we're going to do here is we're going to show you exactly where to hit the cue ball to get from one spot, from one rail to another after pocketing balls that are set up at angles that are going to be recurrent in these games. I, I'm going to have a friend of mine, Greg Pielli, help me here. Uh, he's never seen what we're going to do here, so instructing him is pretty much like it'll be instructing you personally. What we're going to do, we're going to start out with this shot. There's one, two, three, four, five, about six shots here that you need to know. And let me tell you, you know, I, I want to give credit where credit's due. When I started doing this, I don't know, four or five years ago, I, I read in a, one, of the, one of the pool magazines, something that Nick Varner said, and they showed this shot, just about this shot here. And, you know, he says this is a shot where there are, it recurs over and over and over again in the game. And what you've got to do is practice getting to this, to this dot, after pocket, this dot, this dot, and to get to every, every possible dot on the table with the cue ball. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to enlarge, I'm going to sh actually shrink that down a little bit. I'm going to show you how to move from one end of the table down to the other end of the table successfully from pocketing this ball or this ball or this ball. We're going to go from these dots up here down to this dot down here. And the way we're going to do it is by picking out discrete points on the cue ball. Now, I've just thrown some things here. This is a clock face. You know, I've, I've heard of the wagon wheel system and the clock system for a long time. And, and what the deal is, if we pocket this ball, we'll start out with this ball. And what I want you to do is make dots. I get little pieces of, of paper or label, and I want you to put the same shot up every time, every time for yourself. And believe me, you give me a week with this one, this one doesn't take as long, and it brings your, your play way up. So what I'm going to show, what I'm going to want now, I'm going to ask Greg to come over here and help me. And I'm going to set this up. For those of you who have never seen Greg before, Greg is my best student, Greg Pielli. And he's turning into a pretty good little player, as a matter of fact, that's all he does. And what we're going to call these, here's the cue ball, we're going to just call this one, two, and three. And we're going to want him to hit this, this pocket the ball, and then have the cue ball come off of two rails into one, then off of two rails into two, and off of two rails into three. And what I'm going to tell him that he hasn't heard before is the same thing here. If you want it to come to one, you hit it about one. Come to two, you're going to hit it about two. You come to three, you're going to hit it about three. The higher you hit it with this English, the shorter it's going to come in. The lower on the ball you go, the longer it's going to come in. Now I'm going to want, I, what I want him to do is just shoot it so it rolls to the rail, thinking that our next shot's going to be off there somewhere. Okay, Greg, let's try a few of these. And you want me to hit this at one. What does happen is you shoot this ball dead in the center of the hole. All of these are predicated on hitting the center of the hole. And it's about the same speed. It's the spin that takes it from one to the other. See, so what's going to happen for you is this ball is going to open up to you. You're going to be able to play all over the ball. Sure. You know, you always shoot for the center of these things. You don't. I, I know that you don't have the ability. All, right. all I want to do is see you roll into one. I want you to hit the chalk here. Already. Roll into one. Find out where one is. Okay, that isn't one. What do you got to do? What do you have to do? He's rolling at number two. He's rolling at number two. What do you have to do? Higher on the ball. One for you is going to be higher on the ball. Nope, you're not stroking through the ball. You're not giving it. You're not giving it any forward momentum. It's got to roll forward into this to come short. There it goes. There it goes. Boom! You see it? There's one. All right. Once you found out where one is for you, once you find out where one is for you, 
don't just go away or don't just do it three times. I'm going to do it about eight or nine with him, but do it 30, 40 times so the, you know, it locks into your mind. So it will not lock into your mind without, continued, without continuing. So it's a natural response. It's a na exactly so it becomes natural, right. You spend the time. This can't be done without a little time. So what did he do wrong? He didn't hit it the same spot. Did he follow through the same? No. You know better than that. I want consistent strokes through the ball. Consistent strokes. You're not stroking through the ball. You're not hitting this ball in the same spot you just hit it before. Hit it at one, Greg. Find one and lock it into your mind. Stroke through it. Hmm. You're not stroking through the ball. Extend through that ball. He's hitting two every time. Let me see if it's possible from here. Well, you can get short, Greg. Right? See? Mm, okay. <laughs> you can get short. Right, look what's happening here. It's, it's grabbing look, hard, yeah. Look what's happening. See, it's the forward roll on the ball. See where I'm at? Look at me. I'm not at six. I'm over just a tad from six o'clock. But after contact, the cue ball's moving straight forward into the rail, okay? My smell, I figured out where to get it, make it scratch every time. <laughs> you need to know where one is for you. Find one for you. Nope. You're not stroking the ball. See what the deal is? The difference in our strokes, what's happening here? He's not stroking the ball. Come on, Greg, number one. Hit the hit shot. You already did it. It's in there somewhere. Stroke through it. There it is, number one. We want to roll it there. He's starting to learn where his cue ball position one is. This guy's a great player. You know, not the world the world champion, but he makes a living at it. And uh, <laughs> he eats a lot. We fed him over here, we know. Yeah. All right, cue ball position two. It's going to be down a little bit from cue ball position one. Okay. It depends on your stroke, where it's going to be. Now you see that? That's going to happen to all of you too. He's hits two with no problem until you ask him to, then he can hit one. <laughs> There's a two. This is cue ball position two. Nice speed at it. Nice speed at it. Cue ball position two. Cue ball position two. There's cue ball position one. Now you can do it. Now you can do it. Ah, I'm digging it now. Right. I understand. He's, hey, the ball has to open up for you. <laughs> You can hit one every time now. No, no, I'll get to it. Wait a minute. Let's, let's see cue ball position two. Alrighty. It's fairly close. More like three. Give me now see what you do you understand the difference? I mean, it's sixteenth of an inch difference where he's hitting these balls probably. Is that what you'd say? But he's gotta learn. Because it's very consistent how these balls are gonna operate. Okay, that's one. Let me see. Let me see you hit a cue ball position one. This is just how a lesson goes. Hit one. <laughs> see, he's got to load information, and you're going to have to load information too. The computer is slow today. <laughs> okay, that's pretty close to one. Now I want to see cue ball position two. Cue ball position two. That's the speed. That's